For ACUSports.com, I'm Grant Boone with a victorious couple of members of the ACU men's basketball team. They knock off first place New Orleans 70-69 to in overtime. We've got redshirt freshman Jelani Friday. We've got Isaiah Tripp, the junior from Baltimore. Jelani, let's start with you. No points in the first half. You get 15 in the second half in overtime. Uh, was there a time tonight when you weren't scoring in the first half that you were feeling a little impatient? Uh, what, what was the game flow like? Well, it was just basically... I wasn't really worried about it because we was winning, so I was not I was pretty much happy about it. Like, my teammates told me, don't shy away from it. It's going to come. My coaches told me, don't worry about it. It's all going to come to you. And uh, credit to my teammates, they, they made sure that uh, I basically had the game I had. Well, Isaiah, you've watched this guy now for a year and a half because he redshirted last year and you watched him in practice. Uh, he hits two huge shots, one in regulation and then one in overtime. Uh, I guess you're not surprised watching him do stuff like that, are you? Definitely not surprised. Uh, by now, we all realize that it's, it's just in his blood, it's in his DNA. So whenever he does something like that, you know, we expect it, um, even if he has a bad first half. Jelani, uh, the, the, the plan it looked like from New Orleans was to deny you any chance to get the ball inside. And so you did step out. You made three threes. Uh, take me through those last few seconds of regulation. You Did you know what – where the clock was, and uh, was that the play designed to get it to you out there in the perimeter? Well, no, well, basically no, but it was just like I did see the shot clock in, on one of them, and I was like, I got to shoot it. So when I shot it, it went in. Isaiah, uh, I know your coach has been talking about the extra pass, and Jay Frank in the closing seconds of regulation drove to the free throw line, kicked to you in the left wing. You could have taken a shot, but you found him, and he hit the big one. Uh, doesn't it seem like you make the extra pass and good things happen? It does. Uh, the entire game we made the extra pass as a team. And on that one particular possession, uh, I could have took the shot, uh, but I seen it was plenty of time on the clock, and he was, you know, halfway closed out already. And I knew, you know, the closeout is the hardest thing to guard. So I figured driving wouldn't be such a bad idea. And then I seen this guy out the corner of my eye, and he knocked it down. So He's one of the best three-point shooters uh, in the country at this point, shooting 47%. Uh, hey, you've watched now – Three freshmen in the last two years hit game-winning shots. Jaron last year, now Peyton Ricks and Jelani. Uh, you've stepped your role up this year. This is this team seems like it has a chance to do a little something. What do you think? This team has a lot of a lot of young talent, a lot of skill, um, and we have a, we have the right mixture, the right balance. We have some uh, upperclassmen as well. Um, so it's, it's just, it really just depends on us. If we bring energy, if we bring effort and determination each game, we can do. Whatever we want. Great job by you. 13 points for Isaiah Tripp, 15 for Jelani Friday. You guys step aside. Let's get your coach here to see what he has to say about this uh, crazy night. Right here, Coach. Uh oh, we're going to go back. Jump rope here, double dutch. Uh, coach, four times in the last five games, your games has, ha have gone down to the last possession. Not great for your blood pressure, but you've won two and lost two, and that's life in the Southland, isn't it? Yeah, it is. You know, you think uh, um, you, you'd like some breathing room, and it's just not going to happen. Um, Especially and, against uh, first place teams. Yeah, yeah, we gotta we gotta do a better job coaching down the stretch uh, and, and making some things happen. Uh, I didn't think we coached them well, obviously against the zone and and, and then the, in the last possession there, we gotta do a better job of giving our guys a better chance uh, to to win it in regulation. But credit to our guys, uh, every game's been close. You you could be beat up in this league uh, with the way it's been, um, and I'm just proud of our guys. We had our best two practices on Monday and Tuesday. Uh, they were ready to go tonight. I thought we had a great start to the game. Uh, I thought the second half we struggled against the zone, but we continued to go. We continue to do things. Uh, you and I just talked before going on air here. We didn't let the run go crazy. Yes. Uh, we, we, we kept the run. Like you, as you said, eight was as large as it got. Uh, we were able to stabilize it. Then it was just a one-possession game back You can and live forth. with eight-nothing, in other words. You, you can come back from right. it when it gets 11, 12, 13, nothing, or 13, one. That's gets in trouble. They get all the momentum. Then you try to, you know, you have a young team, and they can, we kind of panic, and we try to take some quick shots. And so I thought we kept it manageable. And then it was, um, you know, a one-possession game the last 10 minutes, and uh, you're in a knockdown drag-out fight with a team that's winning our league and a team that's got a bunch of seniors. And um, you know, credit to our guys. You know, we told them before, man. You got a bunch of seniors coming in here. They're in first place. They got a, uh, probably the most mature team in our league. Uh, them and Sam, and they're they're both in first. Uh, and you got to act like seniors tonight. You got to make senior plays and toughness. And we didn't make them all night, uh, but we made them. We made them. Um, we made them enough uh, to build the lead and, and to hang in there and compete. So really proud of our guys. I don't think you win this game without B.J. Maxwell, the redshirt freshman from Oklahoma City. He was a teammate of Jelani Fridays. He, get, he had six points in his first eight games this year at ACU, and he scores eight tonight, the first bucket of overtime. 
But it wasn't just the points. He played hard 94 feet. It seemed I thought he did great on Thomas, you know. I mean, Leading score in the league. You know, I, th I thought he did a great job. And when he was on the floor, um, you know, he really bothered Thomas because he's got some length, size, and he's, got, he's put on a lot of weight. And so uh, I'm happy for BJ, uh, you know, and, and um, you know, he, he, he did his job. He made it look like I should have been playing him a lot more, you know, and that's a credit to him, you know, and that, that's a, I'm excited for him. Uh, hopefully he continues to build on it and, and uh, continues to play well. He took care of the basketball. You know, we gave him uh, – he had an opportunity a, a couple weeks ago and played – some minutes, but turned it over, and, and we went back to him. We didn't not giving up on you. And he um, he practiced hard. He's one of our hardest workers in our program. He always lives in the gym. And uh, you know, I said on the radio. I mean, you want to see good things happen to good kids, man. And it happened to BJ Knight. And the credit is he's never quit. He's worked, mm -hmm. uh, and he got an opportunity tonight. And he made the most of it. Coach, you played at ACU for four years. Uh, you can go an entire career and never get a chance to to be a late game hero. And Jelani Friday tonight hits a three in a tie game to put his team up three with three seconds to go in regulation. And with the shot clock running down in the final minute of overtime, he hits another three. It takes something, doesn't it, to do that? Yeah, he's going to be a special player. You know, he's going to be really, really good here. He's going to have a great career at ACU. Uh, he's a special talent. Uh, we got to continue to do a good job of coaching him up, uh, and holding him accountable. Um, he wants to be coached, uh, but you can see the talent. The talent is obvious. Uh, and then he's got uh, – he, he doesn't feel pressure. You know, he, he makes big plays. And that's – you know, as, when he's making them as a freshman, you those are plays juniors and seniors yeah. uh, make. But, you know, the two guys involved in that player sophomore freshman we set a ball screen and Jay Frank's got to read it you know if they stick with Jelani then he's going to the paint uh, he's going to get to the rim or make the extra pass in the corners if they help off with Jay Frank then he's got to make the extra pass to Jelani and I thought Jay Frank did a great job tonight at seven assists of making the extra pass uh, to guys when they were open and, and all of our guys did uh, but Jay Frank and Jaron and those guys they draw so much pressure uh, that uh, you know and so much attention uh, that when they make the extra pass they trust these guys to, to hit some shots and even when we went through a spell we didn't hit some wide open shots we missed some we still continue to stick with it and so credit to those guys last thing you beat one first place team tonight and then saturday here comes another first place team in sam yeah first of all too i want to say i got a ton of credit for mark and oh. uh, the new orleans program and what he's done there i respect uh i respect him i respect his program um, I think they do an excellent job. I think they got a fantastic team. There's a reason they're seven. You know, they're they're in first place. Uh, obviously, we respect Sam. You know, I mean, Hooten and I uh, grew up together in D2 with him playing at Tarleton and me and ACU. They've been the, one of the best teams in our league. He's had really really good teams. SFA's just beat him in the conference tournament finals. You know, but they've won 25. But what what Hooten has done there the last two or three years since I've been in the league is incredible. So uh, they've got the same team. They're mature. They're old. They're seniors. They figured it out. They struggled early in the league play. They they figured it out. I think they've won seven in a row. Uh, and they're playing really, really good basketball. Um, and uh, we're, we're going to have our hands full. You know, we got 48 hours to try to figure something out. Big night. ACU knocks off first place New Orleans 70-69 to in overtime. They now go 3-2 and two in conference play here at Moody Coliseum. For Jelani Friday, for Isaiah Tripp and Coach Joe Golding, I'm Grant Boone.